So Liverpool drop points. Arsenal <laughs> top the league after a sensational weekend of Premier League action. Who are the favourites for the title now? We're taking your calls. Ben's an Arsenal fan. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Ben. Lad, good morning. A very good morning. Well, Never. you sound happy, Ben. I know. Uh, well, I am glory, glory Man United today. <laughs> of course. Well done, lads. Got that point. You know we're top now. Uh, and lovely to speak to you both. Ben. Especially uh, you, Ali. Ben. Uh, you are a lad. Uh, uh, How ben. happy are Arsenal fans today? Ben, um, a lot of Manchester United fans have said to me, including Andy Goldstein, that they would rather Arsenal win the league than Liverpool and Manchester City. Oh, we don't listen to Andy Goldstein, do we? No one listens to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be tight, though, Ben. On, on a serious note, you know, you look at the run-ins that Arsenal, Liverpool and City have got. It's, oh, it's, tight. it's very, very scared, unpredictable. So Man United. Uh, are we scared of any of those teams? You look at, and, and, and this is what the point I wanted to make today was, is like, thank you, Man United, for like putting the, the he's Jorginho. What a player. And absolutely no one mentions him. Hmm. Um, ben, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Don't get too carried away, the Arsenal fans. Mm, like, yeah. I, I know, I know they're happy where they are. They're top now on goal difference. But I think, I think a lot can happen. Two, the two boys at the back have been magnificent. Yeah. Odegaard, I think, has been fantastic throughout the season. Of course, but Rice, we know is a great player. Yeah, but like Arsenal, they've got Spurs. I mean, Villa at home on the weekend. How Wolves you away. Go, go on, give me, give me, give me. How do you predict? Pre- predict the Predict. Games? I predict Aston Villa on the weekend a draw. Do I you? think they'll drop points. Aston Villa will be Do like, you? yeah, they'll be I at it. Fancy Arsenal. I feel Wolves away. I feel like that's not guaranteed. I think you could draw that one. I think they'll beat Chelsea at home. Chelsea are poor. Spurs away. I think they could drop points in that as well. Bournemouth at home. Manchester United away. Manchester United will turn up. Second last game of the season. Ten Hag will want his players at it. That could easily be a draw. Everton at home win. So, so Arsenal are going to be third. I don't. I don't think they win it, mate. I don't think they win it. I think Manchester City do. I look at Manchester City's fixtures, like we mentioned earlier, I just can't see them dropping points. Luton mm. at home, Brighton away, Forest away, Wolves at home, Fulham away, West Ham at home, Spurs away. Mm. Only Spurs away one will be tricky, but if that's like near the end of the season, I see them finding a way to win. Uh, okay, so 3 717 uh, Luton and Everton picked up huge wins at the bottom of the table this weekend. Mm-hmm. Luton getting a last-minute winner. How how big a goal is that? A bad loss for Burnley as well. Three to go down, Gab. This is just as difficult. But what I don't just get about... Can we just talk about the playing from the back out? And like oh. even some of the keepers thinking they've got all day. I mean, the Sheffield United keeper, when Nunes... Um, last week scored Shocking. smashed it off him scored it's happened again for Burnley for Calvin Lewin's goal you must be tearing your hair out if you're a manager like you know it's so hard to score goals in the Premier League and you're just giving gifting teams goals I mean that was the only difference between the game Everton winning 1-0 for a deflected goal from a keeper taking his time yeah, on the ball also teams that are struggling at the bottom with two minutes to go are still oh. knocking it about as if they're well, 3-0 I'm like know. get it forward but that's what I like about Luton Luton don't do what Burnley do. Burnley want to play this football and they're not getting results and they don't mix it up. At least Luton find a way. Let's get crosses into the box. You know, we've got Morris in there. Let's get crosses. Let's get it up the field and find a way to yeah. get a result. I'm sorry, be direct the last exactly. few minutes. You, your, your survival, you know, staying in the Premier is so totally important. Agree, mate. Get it in there. Totally where agree. You start messing about at the back again and your fans are going crazy. Hurry up. Get up there. Exactly. Last, last couple of minutes. And... The, the thing is, Everton, they were there for the taking for Burnley. You know, Everton would have been a Can nervous side. Can you see Everton Goodison putting up a fight against Liverpool or not? I think they'll put up a fight, but I think Liverpool will find a way to, to get a result in that game. I feel that... Um, I don't know, something about Everton, mate. When you watch them defend sometimes, they're looking poor defensively. I mean, going forward, they don't look very um, prolific. What's happened to Calvert-Lewin? 30, 32 goals they've scored what's out. Happened, what's happened to Calvert-Lewin? I don't know. He's not the same player. You know, it looks like he's lost a yard, isn't getting into the um, same positions, not as clinical. And, I mean, they've scored second least amount of goals in the Premier League. 32 goals they've scored. 
Same as Burnley and 30 of Sheffield United. Yeah. Yeah, we're not scoring goals. It's going to be hard. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.